Welcome back, fellow travelers, to Now or Never. Today, we find ourselves in the vibrant city of Lomi, the capital of Togo, where we're about to explore one of the most fascinating and mysterious places in the world, a voodoo market. Before we delve deeper, I must warn you, some of the sights and sounds we encounter here might be unsettling to some viewers. Voodoo, deeply rooted in West African culture, is a complex and often misunderstood belief system. But fear not, we're here to explore respectfully and with an open mind. Hi everyone, here a we are, market. we're in Lomé. We are today visiting a very special market. Uh, it is the voodoo market here in Lomé. It's uh, apparently one of the biggest voodoo markets in the world. Um, it is called the... What is the... Marché des Féticheurs. Right. So, I guess fetish market, but it's not the type of fetish that you would think anyway. that it is all That's about. All so, um, any ingredient for traditional medicine and any voodoo ritual you should be able to find right in there. So, uh, and I think that they make a point to also make sure that you're aware that it is for white magic only. They don't sell ingredients for black magic here. So, yeah, it does yeah. make a difference. Yeah. So Sorry. We're gonna go check out the voodoo market and uh, see what sort of stuff is in there. Let's go. Let's do it. On peut aller en français pour vous en anglais. Qui a ce mot? Oui. Oh, il aimerait ça en anglais, oui. Oui. Okay. Nice hey. to meet you, my brother. Nice to meet you. All right, Welcome. perfect. So it's ten thousand total for oh, everything. Okay. Yes, that contribute to be our fetish model. An example: before we, we don't get that thesis, like the stage, we don't get this one. Ah. But with the money we collect for the people, and then Very we need to contribute to build our other thesis again. Very nice. Okay. Nice to meet you again. Good, you too. What is your name? Yeah, me, my, I'm Mark. Mark? You? Dale. Okay. And Dominic. So you're a competition market. So, and if you understand about fetish market, it's only one in Ekowa State in Africa. And it's true, the market is making Togo. But you know, every people who are working this compound are from Benin. Oh, or from Benin. They are all from oh, Benin. Really? Oh. Because you know, that fetish market maker, yeah. He is from Benin. Uh -huh. If you see the statue in the middle of, of the fetish market, that this statue uh -huh. represents the founding father of this fetish market. Uh -huh. So we have a two type of explanation. And the first one, it's concerned the animal dead natural we keep in the house. So with this one, he is considered like the ingredient because right. we have the voodoo priest in fetish market. They use in the medicine to help the people. Mm -hmm. One example, you know, like before in Africa. Our grandfather did not get hospital. No. But when you get sickness, you have to go and see the voodoo priest. Mm -hmm. After he make the consultation, and then they will prescribe the mm -hmm. animal on the paper and give it to you. With this paper, you have to go in the market, buy the ingredient, mm -hmm. and you brought and give it to the voodoo priest. So sometimes you have to ground to make all in powder mm -hmm. to show you how to use to get satisfied. Uh -huh. But nowadays, we yes. have the more than one hospital. When yes. people are get sickness, they go to see the doctor in the hospital. But you know, it's not every sickness you get the healing. That's right. That in Africa, we have a spiritual problem, witchcraft. Mm -hmm. That's why people don't know the difference, voodoo and sorcery. Uh -huh. Yes. What is the difference between voodoo and sorcery? Yes, you know, voodoo is one. It's like yeah. a God is one. Right. But we have a many ways to, to use it. When we continue, we go to the stand. I want to show you some statue. I will explain to you more. Okay. Oh, Kevin, when you have a question, you ask me, I'll give you the reply. Perfect. Yeah. All right. So you see all this one in our stand here. They are going to be used in the medicine. An example, before you have to begin and use this one in the medicine, you have to be Vodou Priest. How you can be Vodou Priest now? If you have a new baby, they mean the father of this baby have to go and make the contest to know the future of this baby. So, is in the future when this baby is chosen by the spirit. If this baby gets five years or ten years, the Buddha priest will take this person, go to stay in the sacrifice forest. So you can make ten years, fifteen or twenty-five years, and you get the initiation in the sacrifice forest. Before one day, you have to be. Have you seen this one? I have not. Never saw this one. Never see this one. No. 
Awesome. And this one? You ever see this one? I think I've seen this one. Okay. How you call this one in your language? Uh, Zuru doll. That's what, well, that's what they She call is it. from Haiti, so that's what I would oh. call it. <laughs> Let me tell you, in our tradition, Vodou represents the face of Almighty God. But in our tradition, he is representing the four elements of this nature. The spirit of the fire, the water, the wind and the air. Why people call this one voodoo doll? Because when you see in the Hollywood film, mm -hmm. they use their nails to push in the body of the statue. Yes, yes. And people call voodoo doll, voodoo doll, voodoo doll. Yes. But you know, before this doll, we get the, uh, the nails like this. He is like this before he is turned in this one. Uh -huh. But let me give you the example of the difference we have. This statue is a man. He get the penis, mm -hmm. and this one get the breast. Mm -hmm. That's why in this life we have the man in the and the uh, the woman. So it is possible for the voodoo priest can use to help you when you get sickness, whatever the country you will stay. An example: you live in Haiti. So if you get sickness, but you not get the time to come in Togo to see the voodoo priest will help you. So. That way, you know, you know what you do often. Sometimes the voodoo priest will tell you, "Please send me your name, and the money I will use to cure you, mm -hmm. even when you live in Haiti." Mm -hmm. So, with this statue now, if that person is a man, the voodoo priest have to go to buy the statue with the man, man like this. I see. But if the person is a woman, he will do the same things. I give you the example. This one is a woman. So I want to give you one way we use to cure the sickness of the person if the person is seen in another country. You are a woman. I have the statue with the woman. This one. Woman, she get the breast. Mm -hmm. So after you send me the money with, uh, with your name, I collect. I have to go and buy the ingredient. To, what's your name? I forget your name. Dominique. Dominique. I represent Dominique by the statue. She lives in Haiti. And then in the night, like at 23 p.m., I will get the minute to go on the bed. Mm -hmm. If she's go on the bed now, they have some ritual we do it. To call the spirit of Dominic, the spirit will come to Togo to enter this tissue. Uh, mm -hmm. While she's sleeping? Yes, that woman she's sleeping. sleeping. Ah, okay. You understand me? Yes. So after the spirit comes in Togo, it's, it's like that moment. She stay in Haiti with his body, yes. but the spirit is in Togo with the photo prince here. I see. By this way now, the photo prince can begin to make the ceremonies on the stage of, on the name of Dominique. I see. Okay. Okay. That is the good path of Vodou. Yes. That's why Vodou gets two faces, the yes. positive and the negative. Okay. The positive yes. side is used to cure the people, yes. and the negative side, that is witchcraft. Right. It's clear? Yes. Mm. The negative side is the same thing to represent dominate by this statue to use the nails in pushing the body. She feel the pain like that. Yeah. She feel bad. Yeah. That is which I think. I do you consider voodoo to be a religion? Voodoo normally is not a religion. The religion, religion we get in Africa before voodoo is animist. The animist is the people where they believe in many kind of God. Mm. Before we begin to use the Bodo is used according to our tradition and culture things. Very good. It's clear? Very it's clear. It's like a, how we, we make prayer, if you see the Christianity, they make prayer in the name of Jesus. But in Africa, in our tradition, we have to make prayer in our ask, ancestors' name. Yes. That's why me, I never make prayer in the name of Jesus again. Because I feel like Af ordinary African. So in the name of the ancestors? Yes, ancestors. If we buy the animal, an example, that is the raven. You see the raven? After we buy the animal, we use the knife or the blade to cut inside. After we cut inside, we have to remove some intestine. Now, we have the antibiotic leaves. It's to make all the in powder before we put in the stomach of the animal to store all in dry, to keep it very well. Mm -hmm. Before people are near to use in the medicine, come in the market, to discount, discount the price to buy and give it to the people or the voodoo priests mm -hmm. so they use for their help. 
And typically, do they have to grind the ingredients and you you eat it, or how how do? You Good question. You know, after the developers make the quotation, if they tell you go in this market, buy this that animal, or they leave some time. After you buy the ingredients, when they make in, in when they make it in powder, yeah. With this powder, sometimes we can mix it with soup. In a soup. With this soup, you can use to take your spiritual bathing. Mm -hmm. It's clear. Yeah. Sometimes with this powder, they can put in the cup to add the water and give it to you like a portion you drink. To drink. Okay. Or sometimes they can put in a honey. Okay. Or sometimes. They cannot make the uh, the ingredient in the powder. They just make the ritual in the crossroads. Right. It depends on your problems. Then depends on the prescription. Yes. Okay. I see. So an example for medicine. I have the chameleon here. I have a different kind of animal. This, this snake. You see this snake? We remove the tooth to ground. After we ground to make other in powder, see on my body, I want to give you one example. That is scarification. We use the blade. You see, one, two, three times. Yes. Yeah. After we use the blade and cut your body small, small, now the tooth, we will make in powder, we put mm. in the pen. Ah, okay. That is scarification to protect you against the snake biting and scorpions. Ah, okay. If snake biting you, nothing will happen. Yes, nothing happens. Yes. Or sometimes, another example again. When we continue, I have the head of parrots, the head of iguana, with small part of lizard, with some leaves. After we make other in powder, we can put in the honey now. So with this one, when we put in the teaspoon to drink every morning, is to give you good voice. And the second for memory rotation. It's clear. Yes, very. Question for you. Yes. So this is a lot of knowledge, right? Accumulated over ages. Yes. How is this knowledge passed on from one voodoo priest to the other? How do you acquire this and keep yes. it for mm -hmm. generations to come? Yes. I tell you before, before we have to get one voodoo priest, we have to make the consultation. After we know that in the future, this person will be voodoo priest, so we will take him to go to stay in the sacrifice forest. You stay alone without your father or your parents. Mm -hmm. So you can make 15 or 25 years. That moment you pass in the sacrifice forest, we help you, 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 will, speak, you will speak with the genius. Uh, okay. If the genius will help you, if someone comes with problem, he tell you, do this, do that, to get satisfaction. Uh -huh. yes. okay. After that, you can learn it. Generation in generation. Mm -hmm. Like if your father is a voodoo priest, uh, their son can begin to learn about his father. Yes. You understand? Yes. But the difference you have, the person who was taking his time in the Savior Forest is good than the person where they're learning from his father. Right. Mm -hmm. Because you know, if you go and see the original voodoo priest, mm -hmm. you explain him your problems. What you have to do first time is to make the oracle. The oracle talking about the present, the past, and the future. Mm -hmm. But like me, I learn it from my father. When you come with problem, you tell me, hey, Mark, I get a headache. I will tell you, go to buy this or that animal or that ingredient. I will make it a powder and show how to use. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if your problem is spiritual or physical. Right. Ah. Could be one or the That's other. The if it's spiritual, then voodoo fixes it. If it's uh, physical, then you might need to If it's a sp doctor. spiritual, yes. the voodoo priest will make the country to know your problem is spiritual right. or physical before to treat, right. treat you. I see. Yes. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. Can I continue? Yes. yes. So we have a same things here snakes, iguana, the head of goods. Dar, pejok, rats, frogs, and different. What is a very common ingredient? Snake or? All the animals are very good. But it depends on your problem before the food priest will help you. And right. Then you get the healing. An example, you and your wife, you can come on the same day.
to do some things. Even when you are twins, mm -hmm. you can go and make the quotation, but they will see another problem to your, your second person and before they tell you your own. Uh, okay. <laughs> so it depends on the problems of the people. Right. Yes. That's why all the animals are very, right. very important. Right. Yes. If someone comes in the market and their intention is to do bad, if they're looking to find somebody that can help them to do something bad to someone else, how do we deal with that? Or do we deal with that? I want to explain you something. You know, the tradition of Vodou, not like to do bad. That's why the bad side name is witchcraft. Yes. Right. But when you are adept of Vodou and you begin to use bad things, the hotel of Vodou will punish you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Guru don't like to do bad. You understand me? Yes. If you do bad, because Vodou have forbidden me, don't kill the people, don't hurt the people, don't do bad things. That's why people are free of Vodou in Africa. Because it, because if you do bad, you find the bad immediately. In our tradition is like, like that. Don't joke with your food. Right. So someone that comes here with bad intentions is not welcome. If you come here with bad intention, they cannot do it for you. Mm -hmm. Because in this fetish market, we have one kind of voodoo hotel there. If you come with bad idea, this voodoo will punish you. Mm -hmm. Even when you come with bad spirits, our voodoo hotel will cure you immediately. Yes. This is sacrifice. This is sacrifice. Please. Sacred, sacred place. Sacred place. Sacred, yes, it's a big place. Very good. Yes. And uh, normally, if you was born in Vodou, it is me. I believe Vodou. I can never leave my Vodou to follow another religion like a Christianity of Muslim, <laughs> because I know if you do what Vodou tell you, you will find good satisfaction. <laughs> he did. He did with your uh, for your protection for your many things. That's why you have to believe him about your faith. Mm -hmm. He will help you, you find many things. Mm -hmm. That's why even when you are Christianity, uh, you are Muslim, they have some talisman we have inside the room. When they give it to you and they tell you, use like this, you like, like that to get this solution. Mm -hmm. When you have your faith mm -hmm. on that, you find it. Do you have solution. many people though um, that have practiced both so that are there people, Muslims and Christians, who also come here to, to seek your help? Yes. You know, there are some people who are hypocrites. Mm -hmm. But in this life, if you want to give your heart to something, give it to him alone. Yes. You and him. Mm -hmm. But there are some people, it is possible in Africa, they can go to church and they practice their witchcraft. They can do it. Mm -hmm. But in our voodoo things, you cannot be voodoo priest to practice the witchcraft again. Right. That's the difference. Right. Okay. Very good. Yes. Yeah. That's why I say me, I don't want to convert in right. to anything. Yes. People can invite me, I can go there like church. Yes. To like people, but I'm not Christian. To believe. Yes. 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 What's the number one thing, like out of everything that people come here for? Those like for cures? What's the number, like are they also coming for relationship, advice, or whatever the case may be? Many problems. Many problems. First, we call this place fetish market, but it's also traditional pharmacy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is possible for people to enter here. See this man, like one kind of example, he wants to buy the skin of animal. Yes. yes. Have you seen it? Yeah. So, if he can in the market, he wants to buy something, he will go and discuss the price with the seller. It is possible for other people again, when you come in the market, like a tourist, yes. you want just to go around to know many things about trad uh, our tradition and, and culture. Mm -hmm. Before some people come to get healing, healing yes. for their problems. Yes. yes. And is it also possible to get like a something made so uh, for relationships like she says so if you have uh, if you want to find love you yes. get a love potion yes i tell you before we have a two type of explanation yeah and the first one is to concern the animal yeah and the ingredient outside but when we finish outside okay and then you permit me i will take you we go inside the room to present you some the talisman the amulet you have 
where they give their name to this pay fetish market. And the first one is a travel protection. He will help you to have safe travel to not get accident on your way. Mm -hmm. And the second one is a one kind of ebony wood who is prepared to get good memory and get good sleeping, memory retention. The third one is a one kind of talisman. It will protect you against the poison. Like you don't know your, your enemies. Mm -hmm. If you, he invites you, you go to the festival and they put the, they give you the glass, put the drink, put the poison or drug inside. Mm -hmm. If you have this talisman in your pocket or you wear it before you go, mm -hmm. when you hold it, this guy will contain the poison, he will shake and freaks immediately. Ah, okay, so it protects you from it. Yeah, against the poison or drug. Uh -huh. And the uh, 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 fourth one is for law. Yeah, of course. With this fetish, it is possible when you are in a rela re relationship, you want to touch your love forever and ever. Yes. And then they have some way we give it to you. You and your husband, or you call your name of your uh, or your boyfriend on that. Then yeah. you put the perfume, you rub it, you put the perfume on your body. So if she smelled the perfume or he smelled the perfume who is put on the fetish, she fell in love with automatic image. Just like that. Yeah. love is that forever and ever. It is possible with the same fetish. When you are single, you want to find love. Yes. You just put in the left hand. Yes. You put the perfume. With this one, you know, you, you never called the any. Name of any, yeah, any person. After you rub it, you put the perfume on your body before you go in your work site or, mm -hmm. or in your workshop. He will help you to attract good people on you. Uh -huh. Yes. And the first one for house protection and the last one is African Viagra. African help, Viagra. Yeah, they help them to fuck you like a horse. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> So, with the skin of animal, antelope, sometimes we just use to make natural to play in the music. And then what is it? What kind of hair is this from? It's not, it's not hair. It's a tail. It's a tail. Yes. Ah, it's a cow tail. cow tail. Yes. So the long black one there is from horse. Ah, okay. You know, like 70 years ago in Africa, before we don't get republic, we get kingdom. So right. with this one, they used to make fly a mosquito away yes. in the kingdom for the king. Okay. They are very people who used to command the spirit sometimes. But sometimes we used to we used to dancing to shake it. And African festival dancing. Yes, yes. 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 All kinds of uses. <laughs> That's why when people enter the fetish market, they can discuss the price with the photo piece. Please mm -hmm. sell me for five thousand or for ten thousand. Mm -hmm. Because in photo things if you want to prepare something when you find a small part of the things, it's enough. Right. You just don't need the whole thing. No, no, no. You don't need to use the uh, the complete one. Yes. That's why you see this one. They cut. So just cut. Cut in pieces. Yes. Cut and use. So. Have another couple of dial. Yeah. I have the antelope. The head of lion, a leopard, baboon. Difference. Pig, monkey. The skin of animal. See this one? Uh, in Asia, in Anaconda. But in Africa, it's poor. Snake poor. Okay. Yes. So with, with this one, we use to make the shoes like this. Uh -huh. To make the balance, like this one. Yes, the belts. Yes. And all of these were found here in Lome, in Togo? No. No. Is it in Benin? Benin, yes. yes. It's in Benin. You're not chasing them down? No, no, no. It's forbidden in Africa to kill the animal. Ah. But the way we use before we find this animal, we have the local hunters. And then after they go in the uh, forest, and they find the dead natural. Mm -hmm. They collect them. After they brought it here, and now they have to search to the voodoo priest. So, only the animal dead we use in the medicine. Me, my father is a voodoo priest, but I learned many things from him. I want to give you one example. If you see there, we have the uh, animal alive. Come here. Vulture. So, you know, with this animal alive one, if I consider you two like a one families, and then you get the problems, but you don't get the time to come in Togo. So I will tell you what's your name. 
and you send me the money, I will go and buy the ingredients. But with this one, I cannot use the studio again. Because this one is a family problem. So after I collect everything, I go and buy the animal, uh, the ingredients. I have to make all the in powder and make one talisman. So with this talisman, I will go in the market to buy the animal alive. If it's a pigeon, vulture, if it's a rat, chameleon. So with this talisman, all the power they inside, I will attack on the foot of the animal. So I will leave the animal go in the forest. Ah. It's like the animal take your problem to go like that. Ah, okay. Yes, yes. Mm. Just so you can tell us and put out the animal and set the animal free. Going, yeah, free in the forest. Ah. It's only every time we kill the animal. No, no, no. <laughs> Rats alive within the kit. See, oh, all they're alive. They sleep this time. Oh, it's true. Oh, they're big. Yes. All they are lying. But we believe some people come in the market to buy cook very sweet soup with that. Uh, yeah, they make a good soup. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah. good soup. <laughs> And here, I have the Voodoo Hotel. Oh. And that represents all the people where they use metal in their workshop. That's why the name of the, 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 this Voodoo Hotel is the God of the Iron. So every people, we are artisan, mechanic, carpenter, chirurgical doctor, taxi driver. And that concerns them, Africa. Yes. They want to say, yeah, we give him ritual. So we kill different kinds of animals. We cut the head, that's the sacrifice. After we cut the head, we put the skull on that. And now we collect the, the blood of animal dead in a big calabash. After we prepare the beans, missing with the blood, and we put on that to make the drum for celebration. When you are Asian, Europe, European, and African, it is possible you come to celebrate because who do not have decision, no color. They like every religion. So the statue who is to represent the god of iron have one legs. And that means even when nowadays you have many religions, you believe in one god, God's innovation. Most of African tradition are not believing in heaven or hell. Like in Christianity, yes. We believe in reincarnation. Ah. Yes. So, and this statue represents the king of the spirit of the dead. So when we have a new baby, the Avodo priests make ceremonies to make out the spirit of the dead. Like ancestors. Yeah. After they appear, it's them where they make the ceremonies. So they have to know who is that person reincarnate in the same family i'm sorry i don't follow so they can make the same person come back to the same family yes. really yes oh wow is that we believe in our tradition that's amazing like me yeah uh, i represent one kind of friends of my father oh really yes that's very cool <laughs> that's very cool yes. yes after they finish you see they finish the ceremonies yeah the god of death disappear again awesome <laughs> most of things we get nowadays in this life in this world they are from Africa an example that time our grandfather they, they don't get something to inform the people mm -hmm. if they want to make announce to the people they delegate one person holy this gong the name is the gong Kong. yes that person have to go village of the village to make noisy After that, no megaphone, he will talk louder 
yes. to give them to shout it to give the message to the villagers. Mm -hmm. And when he finish, he have to go another village again. Yeah, That's how they do this one, right? like morning time, mm -hmm. four o'clock or five o'clock. Mm -hmm. So they can talk, even if you are in kilometer, you can understand. You can still hear them. Yeah. There we have the, uh, the school of hippo. A hippo? Yeah, hippo we wouldn't oh, see. Yeah. We used in the medicine against broken legs. Oh, yes. Yeah. Hippo. Oh, because they have strong bones. Yes. Against the broken leg. Yeah. Sometimes we can open it like this. It's a heavy. We can go inside to see the fetish now. Okay. Follow me. Yes. Come inside. Come to sit down. Good luck your home, okay? Don't worry for anything. You will be here to get here. See this man. He is young, but he is the Volupus. Because he is chosen by the ancestral spirits. So, what we do often in this uh, room, we have the fetish. And then we have uh, many things about talisman and the amulet but like in our tradition first you will give your name to the Guru priest he will wish you all the best after i will present the fetish for the explanation you call your name to me dale dale he wish you all the best long life something like that yeah Hello? Dominique. Hello, Dominique. I'm going to go to the house. 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 In our fetish market here, the name is Sudeme. Sudeme, yes. Ah, no fetish of tribe. An example. Where are you from? Canada. Canada. If you have an airport in Ottawa, mm -hmm. Ottawa. Yeah. An example. You want to take the plane to come in Togo, or you want to the plane. You want to take the plane in Togo to go to mm -hmm. Canada. When you are ready and you have this fetish, after you are ready, you want to enter the plane. If you have this fetish, you will hold it in the left hand. When you see on this fetish, he gets small hold. Mm -hmm. With this small hold, you have to tell good wishes to him. One example. My fetish, I want to go to the travel to protect me on my way. No accident, no bad things to me. I want to go and come back safe and sound. After that, you have to close your wish to the fetish. Uh -huh. If you finish to close, you will put in your pocket. During the travel, he will help you to have safe travel, no accident, no batteries on your way. After you go to the destination, in your apartment, mm -hmm. you will open it and you keep for next traveling again. Uh -huh. This one is used only for travel. And, and what happens if it comes out in the middle of travel? Then it's no, no problem. Guarantee. No problem. The very important thing okay. is what you tell your wish to you him. You keep it already. Okay. Yes. Okay. And the second one is the seed of ebony tree. But all the fetish you see here are prepared in the sacrifice for it before they brought here and said to the people we are interested. Mm -hmm. An example, when you get the headache every time or you get bad dream in the night when you go to the bed. With this fetish in the night before you have to go on the bed, you put in the left hand. In that moment, you get the water in the cup, put your finger inside, you drop it, one, two, three drops of water. You have to rub it. When you rub it, you hold it in the left hand. Then you make one, two, three, like the cross, because the cross represents the face of Voodoo, who is the almighty God in our uh, tradition. Okay. And if you do this one, it's to, to invoke the four elements of this nature. Uh, okay. After that, you will put the fetish under the pillow. 
then you sleep on that. And then after tomorrow, fresh memory and get good sleeping. Memory rotation. Ebony seed. Yes. This talisman is still in our local language. He get two power. The first one, you know, the carry share are used in Africa as a money, yes. it's one point. But nowadays we have the, the one we use. Yeah. But here, the Voodoo Priest blessing is for your generally good luck. When we tune this fetish, we have a 41. Because before to compose the fetish in our tradition, sometimes we use the number, mm -hmm. like the three, like the four, seven, 12, 15, 21, 41 is very, very important to use to compose the fetish. Oh, okay. Or the talisman. So with different leaves, 41 inside, he will help you against the poison or drug. Uh, okay. I gave you example before outside. Yes. If you go to the festival, someone save you the glass, put mm -hmm. the drink, put mm -hmm. the poison or drug in your absence. Mm -hmm. Like if you go to the toilet after yeah. you came back, when you hold this glass, where they contain the poison, and you have this fetish, or you put on your neck before you go there, mm -hmm. it, the glass will shake and breaks. Uh -huh. You have to feel like an electric shock. He make mm -hmm. the vibration. Brrr, he will help you to not to take not the, get the poison. Yeah, they have the poison. Uh -huh. That's why Voodoo have good way and have bad way. Yes, yes. <laughs> why no? Today, why when you? Now, I have the fetish of law. Uh -huh. I give you popular. yeah this uh, example again. First, we have the two wood. The two wood represent, represent the man and the woman. Their love is tight already. So, it's good for couple. Uh, if you are in a relationship, it's yes. good for single person. With this one, when you are single, you want to find love, good person. Before you have to go out, if you want to go on your workshop, mm -hmm. you put in the left hand. You put three of perfume. After that, you have to rub it. When you rub it, put this perfume on your body. You put the fetish mm -hmm. in your room before you go out. He will permit you to attract good people on you. Mm -hmm. And it always seems to be the left hand. You yes. always use the left hand. Yes, yes. because we have the, the heart on the left. Ah, okay. Okay, <laughs> that's why. Okay. But when we are in a relationship, I told you before, mm -hmm. like you, you want to have a good a girlfriend, so mm -hmm. you want to touch your love. You put in the left hand, call the name of your girlfriend seven times with your name seven times, and then you have to put the perfume, you rub it. Yes. Put the perfume on your body before you go and see your girlfriend. If she smells the perfume, put is put on this fetish, it's finished. Your love is tight forever and ever. <laughs> forever and forever and ever. <laughs> you hearing that? Forever and ever. <laughs> And this one is a leg bar. The man we will see outside get the penis in erection. That mm -hmm. is the real one. Ah, uh, okay. And once a year, this leg bar smoke, you let the cigarette put in the there. in this hole. He will take it. <coughs> it's like a, you get you give fire to him to mm -hmm. fight your enemies. Uh -huh. If you put it in your house, someone enter with your in your house with bad idea yeah leg bar will punish or he will make the person forget what he probably for enter your house is that our grandfather used in africa nowadays even when you go in the village you see this one even in my home yeah yes still have. bad people can enter the, our house to do bad but in my room they cannot do bad things uh -huh. because labor day to chasing them and once a year you give him a cigarette if you don't get cigarette, you cannot get the power to fight your enemies. Uh -huh, okay. <laughs> That's why the cigarette yes. you give it to him. Or if you don't like to smoke, yes. just you put three doses of alcohol uh -huh. once a year. New year, you put it well. on that. Like a ritual, you give it to get the power to fight your enemies. We have a many things. And this one is an African Viagra, I told you before. Yes. Yes. So with this one, we just cleaning well and we cut many in pieces. In Africa, we put in the bottle, we add uh -huh. the alcohol, and you begin to, to drink after three days. You make you strong. On the bed, you work like a horse, my Like boy. a horse. <laughs> <laughs> and the last one is a family protection. The man name is Avlikete, and the woman is Avlisi. The two states you are there. Uh -huh. yes. yes, the man and the woman. So the two are family protection. Yes. Yes, the man, it's the king of the forest. 
and the woman is Abrisi, the queen of the forest, and the two represent the family protection. So I think so. My explanation is finished. Very yes, good. Thank you, everyone. Uh, my name is Mark Tapu. I'm a guide in fetish market. My number is plus two two eight nine three four five five one three six. Thank you. As we leave the voodoo market behind, let's carry with us a newfound understanding and appreciation for this rich and vibrant aspect of Togolese culture. Until next time, remember, in the world of travel, it's now or never. <laughs>